Uh, my name is Danilo. I'm from Brazil, Sao Paulo, and I'm studying a post-graduation course in Information Technology here in AIT. When I was looking for a course to do here in Auckland, AIT was one of the top polytechnics to study. And when I got in contact with my agents, they also recommended the AIT as one of the best ones. I got a vast list of different schools, universities and polytechnics, but I, I did prefer to choose here because of the content and the reputation that AIT offered to overseas students. The scholarship for Latin America is a great incentive for us, especially because it helps us to save money. And the first time that I knew about this scholarship, I wasn't sure about if the discount was real, to be honest. The, in the first time, it was too good to be real. So it's another uh, point that I choose AIT. With this discount, I could pay for my flight tickets and also for my first month here in Auckland. So it's the best incentive that any kind of school can offer for, especially for Latin America. My program is the post-graduation course in information technology. And what I like the most in this program is how the lectures offer us students the opportunity for us to seek knowledge instead of then tell us what to do. So this is a brand new thing for me specifically and all the support that the lectures give to us and everything that they teach us and to how we can teach ourselves is the best part for me in this program. The main difference for me from Brazil to here is that in Brazil most of the courses are exam basis. So the teacher is going to tell what you have to do or explain a few things and you're going to do an exam for this. And in here in New Zealand, most of my program at least, at least I would say like the fully part of my program, it's all about assignments. So I have to look for information, I have to teach myself, learn by myself and have the lecture as a support for my own knowledge. So this is also a little bit of challenging, the, the transition, but also the best part of the program. I absolutely love Auckland as a cosmopolitan city. It has a lot of different restaurants, cuisine, parks. The weather is different, the architecture is different, everything is here is different. And I absolutely love everything about Auckland. And in my spare time, I really enjoy spending time running or walking, enjoying one of the hundreds of different public parks that Auckland has to offer and also the amazing scenery of the sea view when I am in the OAF. The transition to come here, it's absolutely unique. So going from my, moving from my country to this country, everything is different. So the environment is different, the architecture is different, the streets, the people, everything is different. So the transition for me was very unique. And I felt that I was fulfilling uh, one part of my, my personal uh, goals when I first arrived. And the experience living here was also absolutely amazing. I felt that I gave myself the opportunity for changing my life and to uh, experience something new. So when I first arrived, I felt that uh, one part of my brain and one part of my, my, my soul was fulfilled already. My, my first and most important advice would be don't waste your time, don't wait. Just, just do it. Life is too short and this experience is absolutely unique. Coming here to Auckland was the best choice that I could have in my life and was a life changing for me. Going out of my comfort zone and challenging myself to this new environment, new language, learning new uh, skills, learning new, new things every day is the, like, the, the biggest thing and the most important thing for me. So my biggest advice is don't, don't waste your time and don't wait too much. The second one could be do your research. Look for information, uh, look for everything that Auckland has to offer and enjoy. So one of the best supports that AIT have given to me so far is the peer mentor scheme. So every year or every semester, uh, people from uh, another class that higher than me, for example, they volunteer to be peer mentors. 
So the function of these peer mentors is to provide us students help with the assignments, with the lectures, with the school, and also a little bit about outside if we have any problems about uh, like finding a job or any kind of outsource stuff. So AIT has Monica. Monica is the, the person here responsible for this kind of help. So Monica is absolutely amazing and I can give my own experience in this particular topic because Monica already helped me for several things outside of the school. For example, uh, finding a job or polish my CV, finding a, a better place or deal with rent, learn how to rent a place or uh, different restaurants to go, different parks to go or tourist attractions to go. So Monica is absolutely amazing in all these stuffs, and she's the best person in the AIT to provide this kind of help. The accommodation options here in New Zealand, especially in Auckland, the, there are many, there are plenty. There are many real estate companies that can offer you different options if you want uh, like a studio apartment or even to share an apartment, they have these options. Trade.me is another platform that they can offer a vast range of different places, since from hostels to homestays, or even if you prefer to share or not to share in a place. The process here is a little bit different from Brazil specifically, and I believe the whole Latin America. The process resumes for a weekly payment and also the bond in which the landlord or the agents can uh, decide if you're going to pay in advance for two or even four weeks. And in the end of the contract, you are going to receive the money back. Uh, they do this to just be sure that nothing in the, the inside the apartment is going to be like uh, broken or any kind of problem that might happen. Uh, for me, I live in the CBD. The place is affordable for, for me. The expenses are not that high. I live around five minutes from the school and around 10 to 15 minutes for any kind of other places that I prefer to go here in the CBD. But I know that there are plenty of other options in the CBD, since from studios or shared apartments and also in the neighborhoods, since uh, homestays or even shared apartments, or even if you prefer to live by yourself. Auckland has a lot of different uh, platforms for you to search and also a plenty of options for you to have your accommodation.